back in the shop today working on this Evo Mighty Max project. Essentially what we're doing is we're taking the Evo 10 drivetrain out of this wrecked car and we're putting it all into the Mighty Max pickup truck and it'll be, it'll end up being an all wheel drive, 400-ish wheel horsepower, uh, independent front and rear suspension pickup truck. Should be pretty rad. So, we have the Evo up in the air. Um, we still have a subframe front and rear. So, essentially, it's just a couple main bolts that hold the front and rear suspension in. And then the motor is mounted to the subframe on the front. So, there's some motor mounts. Uh, basically, we'll strip everything. Front and rear. This controller is broken. That's why we were kind of fighting getting it in. Um, but, we'll pull the subframe and get the whole car stripped from underneath and then we'll figure out a way to mount it back to the caster so we can get it out of here but that's the parts we need so once that's all stripped get the car back out so we're going to start with pulling the drive shafts out pulling the exhaust out and then we'll start moving on to the suspension and drop it all out from underneath So we got everything stripped from underneath here. Drive shaft's out, exhaust is out. Pretty much ready to get all the bolts soaking, pretty much ready to drop the subframes. Um, the only thing we gotta do now is the e-brake cables, which we have to do from the top side. So we're gonna start getting them all ready to come out from the top side so we can pull the rear. Here we have the drive shaft out and the exhaust out. We're pulling the wheel to get the e-brake off. We're about to pull the brake off when we find that the caliper itself is busted. So that bull won't come out and look at that. That's busted as well. So more parts, yay. So we ended up pulling the, oh shoot, can't see nothing. <laughs> Hold on. So we ended up pulling the e-brake cable out of the center here and then pulled it through the body. So now we have it free from the underside, which means we can start dropping the rear. Rear subframe's all dropped out. We pulled the ABS sensor and e-brake. Got it all unbolted. It's just hanging from the coilover so we can drop it. So the rear suspension's ready to drop out. We're gonna put it down, pull the coilover bolts, and then lift the car off of it. Rear suspension's out. It's a little bit rusty. This is a Michigan car, so it's actually not that bad. So we still gotta pull the fuel tank, but we're gonna pull the front suspension next just because the bigger component and a lot of weight up front. 
All right, so with the rear suspension removed, we're gonna pull, start working on the front. Um, we're gonna get everything just taken from the top side first, wiring, lines, vacuum lines, cool, and all that stuff. Get all disconnected, and that way we can go underneath and drop all the suspension and the motor and everything with it. So we got all the subframe bolts out. We got all the wiring and everything out. We got the steering column disconnected. So now we're gonna pull the motor mounts on both sides and pull the coilovers and then drop the drive chain. So we got the drivetrain completely out. We still have some wiring and stuff we gotta pull out of the engine bay and the steering column, the rest of it, but the subframes are both out. Um, we also have to pull the gas tank. Uh, so we'll do that before we get the shell out. But everything else, top side, we should be able to get it once the shell's off the list, so. Got everything stripped out of the car on the underside. Um, we got the fuel tank out. So now, fuel tank, we have the rear suspension, exhaust, front suspension, the whole engine transmission. There's all the exhaust and the drive shaft. So now, we get to figure out how to get this chassis out of the shop, and onto a trailer, and then Mighty Max in here. Much all this drive trained. We'll be going into this. <laughs> 